So fellas, we're kind of on a hand cannon kick right now. I just talked about annual skate the other day. We mentioned how it is one of the best hand cannons in the game. And in my opinion, with surplus, it is the best. We used it this past weekend in trials and it was disgusting. And I don't even have a god roll. However, there's another hand cannon that many of you state is the best hand cannon. This was actually the trials of the non-hand cannon judgment. It's dropping from the prophecy dungeon. And I will admit it has some very intriguing rolls as well as new traits that we just had to test on a number of different roles. Today, guys, we're going to be going through a number of god rolls here. So big shout out to all the gents in today's video as we really were trying to find the best role for this hand cannon. Now, before we get too deep, let's just look at its random roles here. You'll probably notice right off the bat some new perks such as Ensemble, Encore, Adagio. And then, of course, you've got perks like Adrenaline Junkie, which we know is about to get a buff. Some crazy combinations too, like Adrenaline Junkie and Demolitionist. And that's actually the PvE role and potentially the PvP role you may want to consider for the upcoming sandbox. Again, Adrenaline Junkie is getting its duration decreased next season, but with a lot more ease of use, netting us that 10% increase in damage at one stack, 21% damage at two, and 33% damage at three stacks. Now, the role that you see here in front of you that I'm playing with is actually this Demolitionist Adrenaline Junkie role, which has fantastic synergy. But next season, it's going to get even better because elimination with the weapon will now add a single damage stack of Adrenaline junkie and grenade eliminations will give you the immediate five stacks now the question that i'm wondering is are we still going to be looking at a 33 percent cap here at five stacks or is it possible it's going to be a 50 percent increase in damage at five stacks i don't know we'll just have to see what the damage buff actually is regardless though the synergy here which results in me getting a grenade kill and instantly buffing my weapon to then get kills with my weapon to instantly give me back grenade energy with demolitionist and then I proceed to throw my grenade to auto reload my weapon because demolitionist reloads your weapon upon activating your grenade ability do you see it fellas do you see the synergy it was actually beautiful and if there was any reason to rock this hand cannon going into next week it's for this role right here now another role that we actually play with was this adagio role now i really wanted to narrow down adagio just to see what the damage increase was again judgment is a 140 round per minute hand cannon it's got the potential to kill guardian in 0.87 seconds at three crits but with a perk like a Daggio, that definitely changes the weapon up a little bit after getting a kill hand cannon specifically actually get a 25 percent increase in damage but a minus 15 percent decrease there in rate of fire now many of you in our discord stated that this perk was garbage here on judgment but i had to make sure because a Daggio actually works in favor for certain weapons more specifically things like last breath for judgment's case it does increase that damage beyond that of aggressive hand cannons cranking the damage up to 88 damage per crit and 59 damage per body thus allowing you to get the kill in one crit two body with this hand cannon does it drop the time to kill value no what's unfortunate is that it actually extends the time to kill going from a 0.87 ttk and three crits to now a one second ttk but one crit two body so yeah you're like yo it adds forgiveness increases my damage but in the grand scheme of things the part just doesn't serve a major purpose here on judgment again adagio does work well on certain weapons and it allows them to break that archetype if adagio would have cranked this damage up to say 95 per crit but dropped the rate of fire down to about 100 rounds per minute instead of 120 well then maybe we're cooking there that's still a drop in time to kill to 0.6 seconds but in this situation adagio simply increases the ttk matching the rate of fire there of other 120s and just slightly have Having more damage although appreciated it's still not enough here to choose it over other perks in that final column now another role that we played with was actually this encore multi kill clip role i primarily wanted to play with this role simply to see if encore was any good now it states that precision final blows grant a stacking range bonus to the weapon and that non-precision final blows remove range stacks but grant bonus accuracy and stability when all range stacks have been removed now on precision kill this will grant you 10 range per stack and will max out at three stacks and on non-precision kills you'll be granted accuracy cone growth as well as 30 stability and this perk lasts up to seven seconds and is refreshed on kill so it's got a good duration there my problem with encore is that it's trying to walk this line in between say a perk like killing win and heating up right the issue is is i would just prefer heating up or killing win that's just what i would prefer is the duration a little bit longer yes 
And that's the trade-off. It's like it's not nearly as strong as killing wind is, or even as strong in its accuracy and stability as heating up is, but it has a longer duration. So you have to weigh the pros and cons there. Personally, Encore just didn't seem worth it as it required a kill to activate. And when I'm required to get a kill to activate, I want a perk that turns the weapon into either an auto-aiming machine or a rangy boy. Killing wind, heating up, tunnel vision, etc. And then on top of that, those are kill activate perks that I only feel really comfortable with on weapons that perform very good in their base form. Judgment doesn't exactly perform the best in its base. Just my opinion, guys. I find the barrel to be a little too thick, a little too much hop, messes with my aim, my follow-up shots, and the three taps just don't seem nearly as crispy to me as the likes of Annual Skate and Palindrome. This is a weapon that you want to help on the front end, which is why I started to lean towards things like Moving Target as well as Slide Shot. Now, I know Slide Shot requires you to actually slide in order to get its benefits, but I'm doing that all the time anyways, despite the slide nerf. Matter of fact, Slide Shot is one of the best counters to the slide nerf. And then, of course, Moving Target is really good for lining up shots, especially if you're overshooting. Now, another role that we played with was this Timed Payload role. We talked about Timed Payload the other day and how good it is. It's the equivalent of opening shot, but on every shot of an attack. On top of that, it flinches your enemies. And I would say the biggest debate when talking about these payload perks is which one's better, Explosive Payload or Timed Payload? To me, either or, there's benefits to both of them. There are times that Timed Payload does result in me getting a trade just due to that delay, right? Explosive Payload is a little more immediate. The benefit that Timed Payload has, though, is the stagger approach in its shot pattern. So it, of course, really flinches your enemies. And you need that when trying to gun down snipers. But I got to actually have a direct comparison between this time payload role and this opening shot role. Opening shot grants tremendous benefits on that first shot, including that plus 20 in aim assist, that plus 20 in range, increased accuracy. It's really, really good. But guys, just like on annual skates, I urge you to try these payload perks out. Opening shot is very, very good. I like the perk, but it only helps you on the first shot. And sometimes that is all you need because then you can line up your second shot and third shot even easier. But if you could ever get to a point where you are confident using one of these payload perks, I can promise you they will serve you better than any damage dealing perk or any accuracy boosting perk in that final column. They're just that good. So overall, guys, the god roll for me is, of course, either slide shot, moving target, and time payload, or you can swap out there for opening shot. And then again, going into this next sandbox, I really want to try that demolitionist roll, adrenaline junkie roll. Now, I can't overlook osmosis as well in burn activities. Osmosis is really, really good. So you can combine things like Demolitionist and Osmosis together. But perks like Adagio, Multi-Kill Clip, they really don't change anything on these weapons time to kill wise. And I would say Adagio just makes things worse, which is unfortunate. But like all perks, Bungie will eventually get around to buffing them. I think the biggest limitation you're going to have with this hand cannon is really its range. I mean, we're talking like sure shot, accurized rounds with a ranged masterwork, cutting off at about 32 meters, which is pretty much in line with our God Roll Annual Skate from the other day. The difference is, is that annual skate to me is a much superior weapon within that range. It's kind of like Wake and Vigil, right? There's not too many weapons that I feel overly confident with in 1v1 scenarios. Wake and Vigil, annual skate, both of those within its intended range, within that 31 to 32 meter range and down will absolutely shred in those 1v1s. Judgment, kind of a struggle. And with this weapon feeling as clunky as it felt for me, the trade-off would have been if this weapon could have contended at palindrome level ranges, which is like, what, 35? 36 meters, somewhere around there. Now, obviously, this is not that big of a deal because Ice Luna is coming next week. And if there ever was a hand cannon that did directly compete with Paladrome and even exceeded it, it was Judgment. Now, I still hold by what I said the other day. Annual Skate, nasty. One of the best. And I would actually take an Annual Skate against Pally and the rest of them any day of the week. So if you have not watched that review, feel free to check that out. A link to that will be in the description below or in the card stamp above. And if you're still on the grind for Judgment, try to lock down one of these rolls, especially that demolitionist adrenaline junkie roll. Well, fellas and ladies, thank you all for coming and watching. And as always, slap that like button like your mama told you right. <laughs> <laughs>